Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, Dr. Jeffrey. My name is Zarif Rukmani and today I would like to present my research project titled Corrosion Inhibition Performance of Volatile Corrosion Inhibitor VZI Towards the Top of the Line <coughs> Corrosion TLC in Sweet Environment. In this presentation, there are three chapters that I will cover, which is Chapter 1, Chapter 2 and Chapter 3, Introduction, Literature Review and Methodology, respectively. For Chapter 1, the introduction of the research, it is known that the transfer of crude petroleum has been carried out in subsea pipeline that stretches hundreds of kilometers. This pose a huge maintenance issue at enormous cost to oil and gas companies in combating the naturally occurring corrosion of metal of their assets. <clears throat> Not just that, TLC was recently discovered and many organizations are carrying out research to combat it in order to maintain their asset integrity and prevent unwanted environment, safety, health and economic damage. Therefore, as for the motivation, this research is an effort to provide the oil and gas operators in mitigating TLC occurrence and prolong the pipeline operation duration and minimize the maintenance costs. For the problem statement, huge challenge is, is in achieving sufficient VCI partitioning in the pipeline. In this project, VCI performance efficiency of both top and bottom of line corrosion will determine using weight loss method. This is an international standard prescribed by American Society of Testing and Materials, ASTM. As the experiment was complete, the corroded metal sample surface is then analyzed using IFM and SEM. In this research project, VCI partitioning tests will be carried out in oil and brine phase. Basically, different concentration of VCI 200, 500, and 1000 will be inserted and the amount of successful partitioning will be determined. For our research scope, TLC experiment is carried out at 1000 ppm of VCI at 70 degrees C at 1 ATM in an open system with continuous carbon dioxide gas flow. For the significance of study, right dosage of VCI is needed to carry out the TLC mitigation while cost to maintain is kept optimized. Next, for our chapter 2, which is the literature review of the project. In the oil and gas pipeline, fluid flow has stratified flow behavior as can be seen on the first image on the right, where gas and a liquid occupies the white and blue section respectively. In the gas section, which consists of water vapor and hydrocarbon, are condensed on the 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock of the top of the line, <coughs> sorry, top of the pipeline as shown in the second image. In 10 to 2 o'clock, water and hydrocarbon are condensed inside the oil and gas metal surface. As you can see in this region, the presence of water initiates the TLC occurrence. Now, I'm sure you are wondering how does TLC occur in the first place? Referring on the image, you can see that the hot fluid from the reservoir is attracted by the oil rig and then passed down to the tanker by means of subsea pipeline. <coughs> this subsea pipeline is surrounded by cool sea water temperature. This temperature difference initiates the heat transfer process from the fluid inside the pipeline to the seawater until the equilibrium is achieved. There are several factors that contribute to the TLC occurrence, which I will cover one by one. The first factor is the water condensation rate, or I should say WCR for short which is highly influenced by the temperature difference explained just now. As mentioned before, water initiates the TLC corrosion. When there are more water condensed at a time, more TLC will occur as shown in the profile on the right image. It can be seen here, higher condensation rate of water will lead to higher corrosion rate. For the gas temperature, higher gas temperature will translate to higher temperature difference which led to more water vapor to condense. It can be seen from the bar chart, both experiment approaches visualize the linear increase of corrosion rate as gas temperature increase. For the fourth factor, carbon dioxide will dissolve in the condensed water and corroded the metal surface, where the ferrum carbonate is the correction product. Ferrum carbonate is basically a protective, protective layer that prevents further corrosion. Nevertheless, 
With the influence of gas velocity, the FeCO3 crystal protective layer is removed on the metal surface, leaving it vulnerable to further corrosion. As seen from the charge on the right, higher gas velocity causes corrosion rate to increase at the increasing rate for all types of steel. Even worse, the presence of organic acid also contributes to the TLC. Organic acid that exists naturally in the reservoir removes the, and prevents the establishment of protective barrier by reacting with the crystals, sorry, crystals and form iron to acetate and carbon dioxide and water, which another contributor to TLC and further corrosion to take place. Therefore, to prevent TLC occurrence, VCI is injected into the pipeline. The VCI properties will vaporize and condense on the steel surface and fizzes up with the steel to form protective layer against corrosion. Basically, there are three types of VCI base available in the market. The first type is amine based. Here you can see the uh, chemical compound of amine based VCI. Meanwhile, you can see the imidazoline based VCI. And for my experiment, the tile base. In order for VCI to function, VCI must diffuse to both oil and water phase, which has different diffusion resistance. This means not all VCI will diffuse and its efficiency drops. Therefore, it is important to determine the optimum concentration so convenient corrosion inhibition of the pipeline internal surface can be achieved. We must not forget that VCI is an expensive material. Therefore, the convenient dosage is crucial. Meanwhile, for the TLC experiment, from the past research, there are several material and apparatus setup found. In my project, I'll be using API 5 liter, sorry, 5L X65 carbon steel in a glass cell setup, which I will explain further in the next chapter 3 methodology. Now, for chapter 3 methodology, for VCI partitioning test, apparatus are set up as shown in the image on the right. After the setup is done, VCI dosing of 1000 ppm is inserted in the batch and left for 24 hours. Sampling is done by opening the stop, <coughs> sorry, the stop cock. After sampling is made, the sample is then analyzed in LCMS, where residual volume and its VCI efficiency are to be determined. The collected VCI residual indicate the VCI that successfully passed through the diffusion barrier of oil and water phase. Meanwhile, for TLC test, it is categorized into three periods, which is pre-experiment, during experiment, and post-experiment. Each of these experiment phase has their own activity, <coughs> which I will be explaining later. The diagram is the proposed TLC setup, where this layout is mimicking the internal environment of operational pipeline where TLC can occur. For the experiment, activities involve a coupon preparation and pre weighting of the metal coupon, pH calibration, and brine solution preparation. Meanwhile, for the mid experiment, which is carried out for five days, we will periodically collect the listed dat data as shown in the under the number one column, and the hydrocarbon column, the set, is recovered. For the post experiment activity, the TLC unit is carefully disassembled first. For the metal coupon sample, it will undergo nitric acid and acetone cleaning prior of determining the weight loss. As the metal coupon has been cleaned, the new weight metal coupon is measured for several times until consistency, consistency is achieved. As the new weight of the metal coupon is achieved, the value will then put into comparison with the initial weight prior of the experiment. <coughs> the difference of the weight will then use in the formula as shown by the national sorry. Uh, National Association of Corrosion Engineers standard as shown on the right of this presentation slide. After post experiment activities, the coupon will be further analyzed using IFM. IFM is an analyzing tool is used to determine the pitting corrosion depth of the coupon. I mean metal coupon sample. Next, the steel coupon sample is then undergo SEM or scanning electron microscope. It, this equipment is to analyze the surface of the, met, the metal coupon. 
that's all from me. I would like to wish highest of thanks and wish you a very nice day. If there are any questions regarding the presentation, please free to ask. <coughs>